Learning to swim is really important. The framework that we have in Scottish swimming uh, has had many versions, many iterations over the years. This, this current one is by far and away the best uh, framework that we've had for Learn to Swim. The levels are progressive, there's challenge and fun all the way through and whatever level uh, swimmers reach within the framework uh, they will have achieved something really significant in their life. Most importantly of all, they will have learned to swim in a safe and confident way. Well, the framework itself is a, a framework we've developed in partnership with Scottish Water to teach um, all ages and all abilities to learn how to swim, but particularly youngsters. Now, at the end of 2020, we had something in the region of over 100,000 youngsters a week learning how to swim through that programme. So it's hugely, been hugely successful in providing them with some important skills, as well as providing them the experience which is fun and enjoyable to um, take part in aquatics activities for long into the future. I think one thing that swimming gives is freedom of movement. Kids can be able to come in the water, whether they've got disabilities, whether it's learning disabilities or physical disabilities, and swimming makes it equal for everybody. Um, being able to float, being able to move through the water, yeah, it might be different for some, but it gives everybody the opportunity to be able to learn to swim. I've been swimming for as long as I can remember since I was a baby and then I just went through like the normal stages like joining Learn to Swim and I, I really enjoyed the classes um, so the teacher at Learn to Swim suggested that I joined a club and then it just kind of went from there. I think it's a fundamental life skill that should be open to all children. It is something that all children should have the ability to do especially after this summer when we've had all those tragedies in and around water. Those learning experiences that we experience, uh, standing for the first time, walking for the first time, they're all so crucial for us in our um, development. And when you're in the water, there's a similar series of experiences come to you. So floating for the first time, having water splashed on your face, moving forwards or backwards, floating on your front or on your back. Those are all what we call aquatic literacy. Moving beyond that, learning how to propel yourself, turn yourself around, move in different directions, it's just a, a very small part, but a really important part of those early stages. We're really proud to support Learn to Swim. Water safety is a key priority for everyone at Scottish Water. We're a nation that's surrounded by water, we're a nation of lochs and reservoirs, we're never far away from, from water and it's so important that children uh, do learn this key life skill. The danger is when some parents, uh, when they're looking after a child, might be able to get a wee bit complacent, thinking that their child, children are competent enough within the water, but water is such a dangerous form. We need to make sure that everybody takes water with the absolute respect it's due, and the only way you can get that is within a very safe environment, controlled environment, where Swimming Lessons provides that quality safe uh, teaching um, and education towards how children respect water and also how the parents respect water when their children are out and about around the water as well. Swimmers like Duncan and Tony, who are our Learn to Swim ambassadors, learned to swim at some point and they've gone on to medal success. We're not saying every child in the Learn to Swim programme will become an Olympic champion but if every child in the Learn to Swim programme becomes a competent and confident swimmer, reducing the risk around these environments, that's also a huge success. Learning to swim is, fundamentals are, are so crucial for, for water safety later in life. Um, you know, so, so first and foremost, you know, it's just uh, making yourself feel safe in the pools. You know, whether that's just being calm and being able to do it or, or other things. So, um, you know, the fundamentals that you learn early on are actually really important for, you know, a, as a life skill when you're in, you know, quite bad situations outside of the pool. Being the, being the Learn to Swim ambassador is something that I'm, I feel really passionate about. And, you know, if, if I'm able to inspire one kid, then I, I, and I feel like I've done 
sort of my job and, um, and it's always you know it's always so nice going to, to different pools and seeing just how much enjoyment the kids are having as they, as they learn to, to be able to do a life skill which is which is swimming you know there's learn to swim programs set up for for all sorts of sorts of ages and abilities um, so I think you know if you if you are worried I'd, I'd, I'd get in touch and, and there'll be a, there'll be a lesson out there for for you We do go swimming together quite a lot, usually if we're on holiday as during the week it's quite difficult to find time. Just watching them at the swimming it's helped build up their confidence, their resilience, um, their motivation and their dedication to stick with something even when they find it challenging. So aside from actually having the benefit of learning to swim and being safe in water, it's a skill that they'll hopefully transfer to other areas of their life when they find something challenging. I just love the fact that I get to, if, I, if they come in as a, a complete novice, all those wee silly skills and drills that we've done in the baby pool, like picking up sinker toys, have now built up to them doing surface dives up in the, the main pool, which is really, really fun to kind of see. For me, I've always thought swimming to be a very important life skill, although I've only just sort of recently started learning myself. Before you know it, you're doing something that you thought, oh, there's no way I can ever do that, and it's, it's amazing. Uh, before long, I'll be, um, yeah, hopefully doing laps and, um, you know, messing with this guy. Well, he really loves swimming, and he's always really excited to come, but I think a lot of that is to do with the kind of instructor as well, so Kyle's his instructor, and he's honestly so good with them. Brilliant. They know exactly how to deal with the kids and how to take easy with the kids, so I'm, I'm so happy with their teaching skills, with their communication skills with the kids. So yeah, Subhan's been doing brilliant. So Matthew's been learning to swim since he was about three. He's got autism, so we went to, um, he had one-on-one -on -one lessons, um, but they haven't started those lessons up again after COVID. Um, and then when we came here to Bathgate, um, it's a really nice setup. It's got the balcony that parents can stand on. He's come on absolute leaps and bounds since he's been coming here. It's um. like running, because you already know how to run, but it's a sport, but then you're learning to do something and then being athletic at the same time. So, yeah, I think it's something, a life school that everybody really should know. If you're in the Olympic Games and you get your hand on the wall first, what a feeling that must be, a sense of accomplishment. If you're learning to swim and being able to take those first few strokes or swim that width of the pool, you um, should really have that same feeling of fulfilment and accomplishment. If you're on deck and you're the teacher um, looking at someone swimming for the first time, then what a sense of reward that gives you as well. And there's nothing better than being able to see a kid take the first stroke. Through all the stages of the Quality of Learn to Swim framework, you can keep going, stop off, come back to it at any point. But when you reach the club ready stage, you really are in a position to make all sorts of choices about a lifetime of aquatics, or simply just being able to take part in other activities on the water. Knowing that you're safe, knowing that you're competent in the water, just leads to a whole lifetime and a myriad of possibilities in an aquatic context.